Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm a working lady working from home. This video is all about my new job at CBS News and why I left my job at MTV Networks. Before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hi, Milan Alicia here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about my new job at CBS News as a broadcast associate on the Fact Check team and also on why I left my job at MTV Networks. So while we have this good lighting, I'll give you a brief summary of my career and educational background. I went to Bard College where I did a double major in anthropology and film production. So I have two bachelor's of arts degrees, one in film and electronic arts and one in anthropology. During the summer of 2015, I interned at Entergy, which is an energy and tech company located in New Orleans, and I was on their talent management team in the human resources department. During the summer of 2016, I interned in New York City at Viacom with BET Networks on their television programming and scheduling team. During the summer of 2017, I moved to San Francisco for three months and I interned at Google with YouTube on their online content partnerships and development team. I graduated from Bard College in May of 2018 and upon graduating, I moved to New York City and my first job after graduating from college was at MTV Networks on their talent, casting, and series development team. I'm trying to use natural lighting here looking out my window, but these slides are just getting all in my face. So I worked at MTV Networks for a little bit over a year, about one year and one month, and I had the most amazing time working at MTV Networks. My job at MTV Networks was my dream job until it wasn't. The way you're hired at Viacom is either as a full-time employee, a freelance employee, or a contract employee. I was hired at MTV as a contract production assistant. The way that my contract worked was that I was hired on a three month contract. I was initially hired from October of 2018 to March of 2019. At the end of my first contract in March of 2019, my manager and I had a talk and she was pretty much like, hey, your contract may or may not be extended depending on the budget that the team has. Viacom and the team ended up having the budget to keep me on. But for every three months after that, I wasn't sure whether or not my contract would be kept or if I would be let go. And so every three months, I wouldn't know if we had the budget to keep me on. And so I was just constantly in a very unstable place in my career where I really wasn't sure if I would ever be fired or not just based on a budget and so I knew moving forward I really wanted to have a career that gave me a sense of stability that is one of the reasons why I left MTV just because of the unsteadiness and unstability of the contract that I was hired on. Another reason why I left my position at MTV Networks, which I think is something that many people in the entertainment industry can relate to, is that I was getting tasked with a lot of minuscule things that didn't necessarily relate to my role. When you work in entertainment as an intern or an assistant, you will be getting tasked with things such as getting 10 Starbucks orders or walking 10 blocks for one cupcake or having someone angry at you because you couldn't find a specific brand of vegan cashew milk and I was just I was being asked to complete these tasks that didn't have any relevance to my role and sometimes those irrelevant tasks would sort of outweigh the tasks that actually did relate to my role like I would sometimes spend many hours a day out on a run when I could have been at my desk learning how to create like a talent contract or something that was actually relevant. I felt like I was being pushed further and further away from what I was actually hired for. It just in a way made me begin to lose passion for it and that's sort of why I began um, looking for other positions because I wanted to be in a place where I saw growth and I wasn't seeing growth uh, with the position that I was in. When I put in my two weeks notice it was winter time so I was pretty much at home typing like this like hi I hope all is well. I'm writing to inform you that I will be resigning from my position. After I sent in my two weeks notice email, my manager called me immediately. And this is how that phone call went. Ring, ring, ring. Hey, Milan, it's me. Hello? Hey, yeah, it's Milan. I just got your email. 
I'm a bit confused. Why are you putting me your two weeks notice? Well, I really wasn't planning on putting in my two weeks notice, but this opportunity came at a time where I was really looking for a career change. I mean, ultimately we want what's best for you, but this is sort of out of the blue. It was an amazing team full of all strong women, which I will be forever grateful for. You all taught me so much and I'm very sad to be leaving. I mean, okay, it's, it's whatever you want. We want the best for you and what's best for your career. And I, yeah, I'm really sorry to be leaving like this, but I would love to come into the office once we open back up after. Yeah, really, we want the best for you. Uh, see you, we'll see you on Thursday. Okay, yeah, thanks for talking. Okay, bye. I knew I had wanted to leave MTV for a few months before I I resigned. So a few months before I resigned, I started to reach out to my network on LinkedIn. One of my connections on LinkedIn sent me a job recommendations for a job at CBS News as a broadcast associate. And so I applied through their sort of internal hiring system because that person was already an employee of CBS. So he sort of sent me like this special link where he sort of bypassed the regular hire system. About a week after I applied online for the CBS Broadcast Associate position through that link that my LinkedIn connection sent me, I had an in-person interview with one of the supervising producers for CBS This Morning at CBS. And our interview was very thorough. It was standard interview questions. Tell me about your background. Why are you leaving your current position to work here? Which was very difficult because it was my first time leaving a position to work somewhere else. Um, and just like other standard interview questions. And that was the interview. It was very brief, one of probably one of the shortest interviews I've ever gone on. So I initially didn't think I even got the position because we were just like in and out, just like boom, bam, questions here, go by. And I was like, okay, maybe he's just busy or maybe like <laughs> I'm just not getting hired. But literally one day later, I got a phone call from one of the amazing human resource reps and talent managers at CBS News and she was like hi Milan we would like to offer you the position and I was so happy because that position or this position that I'm currently in it's one that I really wanted as like a step in the career direction that I, I want to go in but at the same time when she told me that I was hired I was very happy but I was also very scared because I was like oh fuck like I gotta quit my job for real now and I just like really didn't know how to quit a job because I thought people you know you know people usually just walk in and be like I quit and they like they just like you know people just usually people usually just like they just walk in and they're like I quit they just like throw stuff places everywhere but like you know, I really enjoyed my job there. So I wanted to be professional and courteous. But then at the same time, like the winter break had started. So I couldn't really even go in my office to make a scene, even though I wasn't. I started my new job at CBS News as a broadcast associate on the fact check team on January 6, 2020. I've been at CBS for about five months now. And it's been such an amazing experience. So basically, let me just tell you what I do at CBS. The broadcast associate role is very multifaceted and there are very many different types of broadcast associates. I am specifically a fact check broadcast associate and the fact check associates meticulously and diligently go over every single fact in a script and sometimes a web article to confirm that it is true and accurate. When I first became a fact checker, I was scared because although I had a lot of journalism knowledge from studying anthropology in undergrad, I wasn't necessarily sure that I knew exactly how to fact check because with fact check, you really have to make sure that all information is accurate. If not, your station can be sued, which isn't a good thing. The fact checker must have good research skill and the ability to confirm whether or not something is a fact or not. We also have to make sure that all copy is correct, whether that is a graphic or a spelling error or a punctuation error, because if something is spelled wrong, for instance, if you spell Titanic, T-Y-A-N-T-I-C, they might pronounce it as titanium instead of Titanic. And so, and that can change the entire meaning of the script 
or up that line so we have to make sure that of course spelling errors are correct that grammatical errors are correct that you're exclaiming something or punctuating something instead of questioning something like those things really do matter i also have to develop my interpersonal skills because with fact checking you do have to communicate with many different people whether that's a producer a writer an anchor a correspondent someone in research someone in the booking team there are many different types of people that go into creating a script and creating a story and creating a broadcast and so I had to really learn how to be confident in the way I speak and really knowledge to other and also in the way I obtain knowledge as well. One thing that I wasn't prepared for when it came to fact checking was mathematics especially right now in coronavirus where we have to calculate new cases that have come about compared to the rise or if states have met the 14 day CDC requirement to open back up. There is a lot of math that goes into fact checking that I have had to not relearn but sort of just make sure that I'm doing properly and things like Excel formulas. Um, it's something that I didn't know was a part of fact, fact checking but it actually is. I really do enjoy the position that I am in as a fact check broadcast associate at CBS News with CBS This Morning. When I was at MTV Networks, I was really looking for a position where I could be in a spot to help produce knowledge and share new knowledge. And I am exactly in that place right now. So this is all to say, if you want something, speak it into the universe. And also this position that I am in now is really helping me to see where I want to go next in my career. I'm looking so forward to what the next few months or in store for me at CBS News um, like these past two and a half months we've just been working at home because of coronavirus so I haven't really been able to be in an office to really interact with other broadcast associates or producers or writers but once we are back in the office I do plan on interacting a lot more with people inside of the borough. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, I'm not really sure if I answered every single thing, but if you have any questions, leave them down below. Make sure you check out my other career videos on my channel. Uh, make sure you watch, well, you already watched, but make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>